Alright, so this is a, like a no-gi variation of the Glan Special. I call it the, the Dirt Nap. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty much a Glan Special, just no-gi with a different grip. What we're going to do first is we're going to control the guy's head so he doesn't pop it down. That aids in the choke. The next one is this hand comes underneath the armpit and up by where his ear is, okay? Just slide it straight up. Okay? Now, by the way, that inside blade is right there on his neck, isn't it? Yeah. You want, you want your thumb pointing towards you so that the sharp, sharp part of your wrist is in on the carotid. Okay? Uh, if I do it this way, it's the flat part of my hand I'm going to have to squeeze a lot harder. Okay, so I want my thumb pointing towards me so the sharp point of the wrist is, is right there against the carotid. So I get that as deep as I can get it. And I usually do it with either a, a, a gable grip or an S grip because my hands aren't very, or my, my arms aren't very long. So when I'm doing this in a dynamic manner, you know, it usually comes up about there. So it's easier just to get my hands together. Okay, once you catch the grip, you drop your elbow. Okay, don't leave it up here like this because I can squeeze him and he just pops his head out. Okay, go ahead and pop your head out. Boom, right? Yeah, okay? Boom, boom. Clamp down with your elbow, okay? Next, you just put the flat part of your foot, roll your foot on the side of his knee, okay? And I'm going to roll him over that way, step over into a pin, and then choke the snot out, okay? Roll him, come over top. Okay? And it's just like every other choke, you know, you try and squeeze your elbows together and squeeze your hand in. Okay? Boom, boom. And guys, as you're rolling over, notice how he came over and did the tripod, top of his head, on his two feet, in the finished position. Because that finish is a lot cleaner and harder. Okay, so we've got this here. Plus your head's on top anyway, so you might as well use it. Okay, roll over. On top of the head. Finish it out. And one more time. Now, can you show us the difference between that one and the, the figure four grip? Right. The, okay. So, guys, we'll do that one first. We'll just put. Okay, with the figure four grip, what we're, it's the same exact choke. The difference is it's a little bit easier to turn the guy. And if you've got longer arms, it's easier to put it on, okay? When I do this, I have to be a little bit farther down here and less on top of them. So for me, it's got less top control. So I'll put my head right here, still controlling his neck, slide under like that, okay? If I'm too far forward, notice how I don't have a lot of hand left to get after it, okay? So bring your head down here by where his shoulder is, dip, and pop your hand up. And then just catch your bicep like that. Keep your hand flat on his back. Keep my head right there on his shoulder blade. Pop your foot up and then crank sideways. Okay. There. Dip through. Catch the bicep. Drop foot. Post on the head if you need to. Now, in both cases, that blade of that hand, that thumb is up. Right. You want to do that because that, that literally, it, it, it cuts them. Right? So we're here, over there. Notice how he's also with his left hand grabbing his biceps in this, this, figure, right. this figure four version. And the, another important thing is don't put your arm in this way and then try and come back around because, number one, that gives him something to grab to stop the choke. If he does that, I'll never get it out again. Number two, I want my hand up here, okay? All I need to do is grab that bicep, so just pop it through right there. Okay, now I've got a good squeeze on it. And that roll, that popping and rolling creates better than just trying to swing your head through like in the hole. Right. You have you have a stronger rolling position. You fin up in a, and you also end up in a stronger choking position yep. on top. You're yep. choking him. This is a win-win-win, guys. If, if, I get the turnover, win. If I get the choke, win-win. If I if I miss the choke and I end up pinning him, I'm sitting on top of his chest. That's a win-win-win. I can always put a, an arm lock on him or another choke. Okay. So that's the reason why I like this variation versus you know the the rolling head and arm chokes, the anacondas. 
and things like that with, that they, they call it BJJ. It's just because sometimes you get caught underneath the guy and that's not fun. Same thing with the Polish wizard, you know, it's a great choke, but I've been caught on bottom a couple of times and that's not fun. So if I screw it up, I'd rather be in a good position than in a bad position. Let's go back to that first one. This is the first one we'll drill on guys. This is the one where you do the, the gable grip or the S grip, either one. So Catch again, there. I got a nice top right position north south pop up, catch it in an S grip or a gable grip, doesn't really matter, drop that elbow. Okay? Pop my foot right here on the side of his knee and I just roll him over. There you have it. Okay. And it's really just a variation of these are Hadaka Jume, naked strangle because we're not using any part of the gi, and obviously these can be done in gi situations as well, judo, oh, yeah. BJJ, anything you know that where they use gis, but certainly we're training them in no gi because it's a good way to train these particular chokes. Okay, let's give it a try, guys. Let's work on your great moves, and we'll come back and lose some throws later. Okay, good. Kind of makes the mechanics of it a little bit easier to comprehend. So, say he shoots in, and you know, nice crawl out. Okay, now I'm right here in this in the perfect position to get this. I'm going to scoot over here so that you. Can to see it. So I can do this with my feet all the way up. Catch here, okay, and as soon as I'm ready, knee down, foot cropped. Okay, you're putting that foot through and you're trying to get this whole surface area down as you kick over. Or if you don't like them, you just sit on the guy's chest. Okay, one more time. So really, what, what you're doing is more dynamic situation as a counter. He shoots, you you sprawl, you know, standard sprawl, put the hip on his, you know, head to his, you know, his head's down on the mat. Then you start working your hands in there and turn them. Yeah. You do it one more time. And either one of these where you where you work where it could, could be either the, the, the standard the, the gable grip or the oh, yeah. S grip or the um, you know the, the old fashioned grip. Yeah, either that and we'll pop them over. Either one works too, yeah, from a from a sprawl. So and like I said, it's a little bit harder for me to get this one, so that isn't as smooth when I do it as, as the S grip. So that gives you a little bit of a better idea how you, you kick over, post on the head. You know, use it whenever you're in that north-south top position. You know, one thing, can you show, because some of the guys are having a little trouble with this, when you do that S grip or gable grip, show how you put your forearm over and, you know, bar his, bar his head, to, you know, the, uh, the uh, on the back of the neck. Start with the S grip first, because with the gable, it takes a little getting used to to be able to do the scissors. So as I catch this, it starts vertical, and then you just drop your elbow on the side that you're going to go, okay? So now it's ended up like that. Okay, it's very easy just to do that. Okay, whereas with the gable grip, you have to kind of pinch a little bit more, so it takes some getting used to. This should be very easy, okay? But in any event, look how close, Derek's elbows are close together as he can get them. They're not, they're not flare, flaring out wide. That keeps his head down, it makes the, uh, the turn a little bit easier. It's less control than the gable, and it's a lot less control than the figure four, but it's easier to keep that shorter arm, okay? So, elbow goes down, keep that lock coming through, turn it, post up on your head, and squeeze. Okay? If you think that your hands are going to go off, okay, post on your head and kick over. The higher your butt goes, the easier it is on your wrist. Okay? Make sense? All right, let's give it a good try. Good, good. Okay.